If you haven't read the comic, and I'm assuming 99% of the people who watch the series have, but if you haven't, uh, the Animation Diaries contains spoilers. Uh, so if you don't want to know what's going to happen, then uh, don't watch them. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Animation Diary. Um, I'm taking a break from the Ed Rosia scene. Uh, I've only got about four or five shots to do, but the shot that I'm working on at the minute is the explosion of uh, General Zemo and it's proving a bit tricky so I wanted to actually get some work done on something easier and anyway so the scene I'm working on today is the scene where Agent 700 try, uh, attempts to escape through the hangar bay and I've actually animated up to this page page 190 but I'm refining the animation today so let me show what you've got uh, this is these two panels my name is 700, Agent 700, licensed to exterminate that um, dropping is done with uh, dynamics so it actually will physically drop on the floor, that's not animated well, the only thing that's animated is when it turns from uh, that solid piece to the dropping piece. The next shot is here. Oh no, that's the wrong one. This is the next shot. So, you see the claw roll off? Now the thing I'm going to be improving is the reactions. Um, I'm going to also make... Sorry. Let's see, watch this guy. I need to make him look at Agent 700 more, and there is about a second delay when he does his eye flick. I might make it more judgment, it's like, ah, it's like, uh, almost like that. And also, Agent 700's movement. That's fine, but as you can see, he starts to move. I want to make it more more mechanical, so it's um more like the the series Daleks, the NSDs. Uh, this is the next shot where he shoots the other one, and again I'm going to make him look at these 700 more, and uh, decrease the reaction time. So. Shot three is six seven five two seven seven five a one hundred frame shot. So I've got a little bit of space to work with. Try agent 700 first. Alright. Okay, so we move to 135. Two two five. Oh no. So as soon as you shot, I want him. Okay, 
also. I think maybe that is a little bit too close. Is this camera animated? No, it's not. Let's move it in a bit. Should have cut the animation window open. If I was on my PC I could set all these up to render in a queue. Uh, and if you see a what's it, little notice come up here every now and then I'm actually rendering a second empire short at the minute. Uh, it's 1 minute 48 seconds long and features Numa 1, Grex Nahal, uh, Onzolo and Xenon. While I wait for that to render, um, someone asked me what I thought of uh, Doctor Who so far. Um, I actually liked it. I didn't really like the first episode with the Daleks because there's so many plot holes in that. Uh, my main concern is about the... Well, it, it was kind of advertised as a, an every Dalek from the show and I there's only like five or six types and three of those were um, current series, which annoyed me. Uh, second episode I loved. Um, the cubes was a bit boring, as was um, what was the other one? Got the Daleks, the dinosaurs. Oh, the cyborg. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It had um, the guy who played Mitchell and Crichton. Mitchell from Stargate SG One and Crichton from Farscape. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, but it was kind of a spoiler that that sheriff was going to die because you saw the doctor with the sheriff badge on in the trailer. Right, that's done. Let's have a look. That's better. Let's go again. That looks okay. What do you think? What's that? You think it's the best thing ever? Oh, thanks, guys. Conceded. Right. Next. Oh, actually, there's, a, there's an error. Huh. Uh, huh. Right. Um, to look over there, so what the? Wait a couple of seconds. So what the? Oh shit! Let's try that again. Um, yeah, the last episode where the ponds 
kind of quote unquote died. It's kind of like when Rose died. She didn't really die. She just buggered off to another universe. And good riddance, I say. Um, but it, it's kind of, I mean, if you kind of follow time travel stories throughout anything, you'll see that they establish that you can't escape from uh, fixed events. And the moment they think, the characters think they've escaped, is the moment they're most vulnerable. Um, but it, it was good. It, it, I reckon it would have been better if that shot of them jumping off the building would have been the last shot, and that's the last time you saw them. I don't know, somehow that when they reset it, they got wiped. Or well, they did die, just it sent the Doctor and all that back. I think it would have been more emotional for him. But no, it was, I don't like the the whole cutting in half of the series. I'm just starting to get into it and then you have to wait until Christmas. Uh, let's have a look at that now. Fucking nice big shot. Dead. So, uh, and that's good because it kind of cuts it off. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so you are seven seven five to eight seven five, so seven fifty to nine hundred. So what did I want doing to that shot? Just the same, really. Uh, oh, uh, a couple of people asked why there was so much noise in um, in the last video. Uh, I stupidly put... I've got my desk and then I've got my little shelf where my keyboard and mouse is. I put my microphone on there. So every time I moved my mouse or tapped on the keyboard, you could hear it through by vibrations on the uh, microphone. But I'll learn, learn my lesson, hopefully. Right, uh... So, ah. Email. Don't really want his head moving. No, a little bit's okay. I'm hoping that that actually clips him. Where's his gun? Why is your head? Oh, I see. Just being an idiot. 
Friends, that's all the animation key points. Right, so you've been hit. But you don't react until a good couple of seconds. Bang, dead. Bang. It's still too long. That's better. Right, let's render that, shall we? Seven, seven, five. Eight, seven, five. If anyone out there is uh, After Effects experts, and I have just uploaded a video asking for help on an After Effects shot, but what do you think? Should I um, animate all the Daleks doing their stuff, reacting to explosions and whatnot, uh, and then add the explosions separately? Um, because I think they do that in the the films and everything. Like I don't know, for example, like the Transformers films and. Avengers 9 man and all that. Um, should all this be composited in after? Like, it, should it all be layered up? Because to be honest, it is tricky setting it all up and it does take a long time to render, but explosions on their own don't take any time at all. Um, I mean, now I've kind of got the casting sorted, I really do uh, need help with the producing side of it. Um, because there's a lot of work to do. So if anyone out there is a Cinema 4D Pyro Cluster or After Effects expert, then please help. Right, I'm back. Uh, let's have a look at that shot, shall we? Number four. Um, that email was actually someone replying to uh, the After Effects video. Hopefully I've got that sorted now. So if you're watching Commando Tripod, I think you've seen him. So hopefully I've got that sorted now. So if you're watching Commanding Tripod, um, thanks. Right. What the hell happened there? Okay, is that going to shoot out the side? Is that going to shoot out his back? Yeah, it is. I might have to add. something there. So for now I'm calling this final. Yep, I am. Except I'm going to adjust his head. And his gun. Oops. Uh, the short that I'm producing is uh, that the whole ideas behind them is to kind of give a more humorous side to Second Empire. I know Second Empire already has a lot of jokes and stuff in it. People are not really keen on it, but I love it. Okay, now this problem is very simple to fix, he says. Simply 
take this. And drag it this way. Now, oh crap, take this one and work out how much space there is between, so that's minus 255, so 255, I'm going to have to use the calculator here, excuse me. So I need to add 1,200. Ta-da! Problem fixed. So the idea behind the uh, Second Empire shorts is nothing not to do something serious, uh, but it's to sh kind of focus on the characters that don't really get seen. Uh, I did uh, focus on Numa One, Grexnar, on Zola and Xenon in the first one because I was well just testing it out and I want to see how well they're received. Um, I want to use some of the secondary characters like the the three General Service Daleks, uh, do some episodes with them. Um, this short took me about a week to do, maybe even less. Um, I actually got the animation done in about three or four hours. It's very simple, uh, very, very simple. Uh, and, yeah, it, it was actually a challenge for me to do because I said to I'm not going to go, I'm not going to leave this unfinished. I mean, I did some final animation for it last night, but that was just um, after I got some feedback from Chris and the others. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Nope, wrong shot. Marvellous. So we can go to Excel, and you're probably thinking, why am I going to enter Excel? Okay, so we can save that. So shots 127 are final. Um, at least animation wise. Okay, so this has been another animation diary. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit shorter than the last one, but uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.